My liege, I've heard a disturbing rumor. What is it, Imam? I have heard that you intend to war as your father and grandfather did with, with the Caliphate. Do you not accept our perspective on the thing? No, no, uh, no. I understand that you believe that the current Caliph is a usurper, but I think you should go on. I think you should try to gain Allah's favor for your position that you should be Caliph. I've done the Hajj. I've fulfilled the requirements. What else should I do? A Caliph is a man of great faith. Have you considered a holy trip to Baghdad, where where your ancestors' caliphate began? If you think that will make the endeavor more genuine in the eyes of the people and Allah, we'll do it. Let's go to Baghdad. Hello and welcome connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3, friends of the channel, and of course newcomers. Newcomers, always welcome. We are here once again with our Mali al muazzam Abdul Aziz ibn Hashmadin of the Umayyad Empire. We are preparing to take the title here of the uh, Empire of Arabia. We do need to be careful because we've transitioned into the next era and it has caused our money to go down because it is suddenly making it very expensive to maintain our royal court. So we're just going to drop this to middling lodgings. It's the only one that I can really lower without feeling like I'm uh, messing my uh, my stuff up here. Now it's fine. So we'll apply this. It'll give us a bit of extra money. Hopefully we can make some more extra money soon. We will pardon this guy because he doesn't really matter. And yeah, we want to save up for a pilgrimage because we need to get to about a thousand here. And then we need this to get exalted among men so that we can end up being able to do a kingdom level conquest. Show Sultan Cosma in at once. He is the Sultan of Helios, so our territory in the Byzantine Empire, or the former Byzantine Empire, I should say. So this guy's forced himself in my council. He is, he's not the worst. That's fine. We'll accept that that happened. The faction has disbanded. We are befriending someone already. So we want to go to this guy's feast, I think, since it seems like a good idea. It is down here in Africa. Okay, just put together a quick customized route and then head out. Okay, this should be good. So we will we'll end up coming back to our capital, but we'll also pick up these, this travel site, that travel site, this diplomatic site, and then we'll head around this way and just pick up this extra diplomatic site over here too, on the way home. I think that's pretty good. And this will help us uh, pass the time while we await our coming pilgrimage. Maybe we'll get some good events as well. Uh, gain the traveler trait from the Rock of Gibraltar. Very nice. Very, very nice. And this guy we can vassalize, so we'll just toss him in. So we have found this guy. He is a... The procession has ground to a halt a stone's throw away from Taza. I look over and see my courtier, Madeira, dismounted. Okay, so this guy is looking at the ant line. I can just, like, tell him to just stop it. Just stop it, bud. Just, just stop it. We don't want to get hit. Don't say stupid things. Oh, there's some stress down from her anger. And this guy is a... <laughs> Uh, it's a, it's a witch. We're gonna burn the witch because we like to express our cruelty sometimes, you know? I gotta get that out of us. We may be gregarious, but we're also very cruel. Oh, we just lost a knight, I think. We are the handsome. Okay, that's also pretty cool. Okay, this kid wants to join, so we'll join now. Which one of these? So you are besieger and contender. Okay, we need a besieger. Let's just do a quick search for that. Court, adult, female unmarried. This woman is probably fine. She's 36 years old. We want her to marry a man who is I'm trying to remember what this is called. I think you can do logistician instead. So we'll do logistician. We'll grab prowess. This guy 21. We'll take him. She can marry him. Excellent. Means we should be able to appoint a worthy successor right here and right now. Everything's good. Good, good, good. So we got two people in every position perfectly acceptable we should check our tax collectors so everybody seems to be doing good except this guy we're gonna change this guy to someone else if we have an excellent oh, this guy's excellent here and he's not working yet so we'll just take him good gives us 24 gold a month it's not as good as it was before but it'll do for now uh, we can figure it out we can figure it out finer points of diplomacy today my sister Hafsa was taught a lesson in vassal management 
My subjects only ever wish me well. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit, uh, but she's trusting. I don't think I care about any of these traits enough to, uh, so she, she's gonna be sadistic and trusting. That's fine. That's fine, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. That That's okay. Okay. She's, she's, she's doing fine. Let's get this kid now. And we will wait for the feast. Excellent. Oh, do no more than what is necessary. Oh, feeling a little brighter. Good. So we're sick. Not great. But we're still super healthy, which is good. Oh, my first wife is now pregnant. So both of my wives are pregnant at the same time. That's what we need. That's how we, how we get things done. So he is being named Hasamatan. He is handsome. Very nice. Let's do something cool. Nizam, no. Mamad, no. Zachariah? Zachariah? Yeah, we can have a Zachariah. I'd love to have a Zachariah. There we go. So our son and heir is born. He is a Zachariah. Let's see what his uh, cute little kid. We already checked this. We don't need to look at it again. It's fine. We may get a brother or a sister soon, which would be good. We have finished our control task there. Is there anything else we need to do with him right away? That doesn't really look like it. So he can can just go back to training our commanders now let's see we're just pushing this up pretty much eternally you can protect us doing internal i don't think we need to do internal anymore Ah, eh, we'll keep it anyway managing the domain everything here looks fine we don't need to do any religious stuff our culture is strong enough especially in our heartland which is where we care about it the most so like on our island here and then the southern part of the Iberian Peninsula. That's all good. Let's just wait out this feast. Okay, we don't want to usurp this. Oh, we need a wet nurse. All right. So we have hmm, this 30 year old, but she has the pox and we don't want someone with the pox and 41 is too old. So let's see if we can find somebody to marry. We want someone with children and someone who's healthy. So we just change this to male. The first guy on the list who's unmarried. We want to find somebody who is, let me see, uh, Dynasty Lowborn. Then we're looking for somebody who's healthy. We're going to click on all the healthy people until we see someone who has a kid. We don't have that many healthy people. It's not great at all. Do any of these lowborns have a child? I mean, I don't know they have to be lowborn. Do they have to be lowborn? None of these lowborns have a child. If I look at this job again here, this uh, this position, and I just look at it. Yeah, it seems they do have to be lowborn. Mm, just take the woman with the pox. Kind of gross, though. They're like super gross. Maybe somebody else will have a better choice. Somebody who isn't a hunchback, maybe? Well, to be fair, I am a hunchback. <laughs> I have this beautiful guy. He's a cousin. His list does appear to be slightly longer. Anybody with children at all? Anybody? Any oh, oh shh, nope, that's a parent. She's a son. She's 33. That might be enough. She's 34. She has a daughter. And they're just going to get older after this. 33-year-old Mary Matrilineal. No, not Matrilineal. Let's see if she she's better than the people we have. Let's see if she's better. So let's wet nurse. She's average. It's perfect. All right. We're paying for a wet nurse because we got kids now. It's important to take care of our kids. Our kids are very important to us. A warm welcome feast underway. Very nice. Okay. A loud crash results. Oh, these two have been caught doing the thing. <laughs> that is a kind of funny, actually. And I have befriended the Sultan of the Safarid Empire, which is great. That's a long standing, strong relationship we've had. Now I have one powerful vassal here, my brother-in-law. I would like to sway him a bit. Alternatively, I could extol his virtuousness. Costs me... Ugh, I need that. I need the piety, so we won't be doing that. Let's let's sway him a bit. Let's sway him a bit. And then once we've swayed him a time or two, then we will befriend him. Should be good. We're very good at swaying. <laughs> it's, it's one of our strengths. So, okay, we're going to mingle with the good folk. We just want all the opinion we can get out of people. Let's see. Religious exemption. New person added to the pile. What is this? The witness? I stumble outside to relieve myself when I hear shouting in the corner. Oh, Ikam is being moodered by, by my vassal. He's just a lowborn nobody. I could use 150 gold. I think he can just pay me off. I think we're just gonna pay him off. Uh, this is amazing. Pass me another serving. Yes, life reaffirmed. Another big health boost. They're doing quite well when it comes to health right now. And he is celebrating this guy. We'll just, I don't know who he is, but we'll hear here nonetheless. You're here, you're here, right? Yeah. And now I shall depart. We get closer to becoming an eager reveler and we will finish the feast and we'll head home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so far so good. The hardest part about this whole thing is going to be getting the prestige because we're going to need to get ourselves to like uh, exalt 
molten among men. It is going up, but very slowly. This guy's demanding a duel. I absolutely don't care about this. I mean, I could just beat him. Just beat him. Ah, we win the fight. Nice. That was worth the prestige. You know, running him over is not as prestigious as fighting him and winning. Now we will try to overcome this language barrier. I got that one too. Very nice. Got some good pushes. We're almost at 50% and there is another person that we can vassalize. Uh, oh, that's a weird face mask, sir. <laughs> a second son. You name him after our father. That's cool. We'll name him after our father, Hasamadin. He's, he's tough. He's a tough kid. I am, I am gluttonous, so I am absolutely eating this. Remember, I don't need the spending amount. I need the bar to go up, so it's okay. All right. A diplomacy perk from all the places we've checked out. I think we're going to take Inspiring Rule just for the 4% prestige. Her person on the council, her powerful vassal on the council, I should say. Discovered this. Uh, we're no longer sick, which is super cool. Let's look up here. Powerful vassal. Power only, only, nobody else is a powerful vassal. Two of my powerful vassals aren't on the council. That's not fun. We need more powerful vassals on the council, but neither of you guys are good enough to do any of these jobs, are you? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's fine. We'll try to fix it later. It's fine. We'll fix it later. We should probably go over there and look at all the places that we've, we've taken, because there's, there's all this new land up here this whole new thing here is new and i think we're a little further up there as well it's not this terrible thing <laughs> so you no longer have an alliance with this old man uh this is silly this is silly yeah ducks don't matter i'm just gonna visit some places in our own territory we've never been to before get some martial experience get some more learning lifestyle experience nice we're gonna probably pardon our vassal here we're not sending our child to university all good we definitely have the money now to be able to do our pilgrimage so let's just go let's just keep at it right we got all this stuff to do we might as well get it done so let's grab this pilgrimage plan a pilgrimage ps pilgrimage and we are going to go to our new territory in baghdad we are going to take mercenary guards let's see if uh see if we can take training knights if that's good enough that makes the water safe that's good enough okay so we want to get as many martial positions as we can because we're trying to get the lifestyle perk that makes it so that you don't uh you pay half as much like the only martial one we're really going after so i'm just gonna fill this in and then i will be back with the final destination all right so here we have it we're doing a zealous pilgrimage we're coming up here along down italy into greece a little bit well into the peninsula here then up into there coming down to baghdad coming around to jerusalem going through egypt and then heading home that is the pilgrimage let's let's get out there let's get going let's get doing it we're taking a normal pilgrimage not going slow or fast we're bringing our knights along of course because we want them to uh to improve and because they were the cheapest way to get us some some defense that we needed for the water areas i think we showed that at the beginning a smitten heathen in the markets of kalat raba a familiar woman makes an appearance like a puppy she has followed us for days with pleading eyes she says my lord your grand alma nadar will he ever love me for he is ashari and i am catholic faith but is there a chance she seems infatuated but madar looks less certain would Allah approve this student? Accept Allah and he will be yours. Oh my dear, you should talk to him and not me. Ah, yeah, th th this is nothing to do with me. <laughs> I'm not encouraging that Catholic woman to, to marry him when he is not even interested. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not my decision, lady. It's, it's not my decision. Ah, unfamiliar pilgrim. So you are a Masari. You could learn a little bit about how they look. Uh, I could let them come. Or I could tell them that it's just for us. Increase our, increases our piety. It's not much chance I succeed at converting the pilgrims. Now, maybe if my, my, not my wife, but my, my man here helps. Just temporarily. Does that help us? So let's just uh, keep ourselves on managed domain <laughs> where we need it to be. You know, their religion is close enough. They could just come. It's fine. They got lots of people inside our domain who fit, worship that uh, variation of Islam. Local hero. We cast down the heterodoxy, and I think we will, because we're trying to make a good show of being super pilgrim, pilgrim, or being very pilgrim here. We're being as pilgrim as you can be. We visited another capital in the Umad Empire. Nice. There's so many of them. We must stop the villain behind this. Nah, we don't care about that. We've gained yet another one. We're going to grab Flatterer here for the extra chance to, uh, to make friends. He likes us enough now. Let's cancel this. Let's cancel that and then switch this to a befriend. Go. Very nice. And let's continue on our journey. 
down through our territory. We're traveling almost exclusively through our own territory. This is just a little bit here in the Byzantine Empire. And then the rest of it, well, I guess we're traveling through the Abbasid Empire very briefly here too. We could have went up there, but it was a little bit more um, difficult. There might actually be a point here that we were going to specifically. You know, it's fine. Let's go. Oh, the Wolf of Isabella. Is that this one? That's our oldest one. If we could recruit this guy, he looks kind of old though. Is he old? Well, we got this guy here who's an 18, who's already our courtier. We could just force the 18, right? I mean, can't we just forbid this guy? No, oh, he isn't. He isn't one. It's just hard to tell. Fading looks weird here. That's fine. We'll make this guy, and then we'll toss him in. Toss him in there. Good job, man. Good job, man. That's okay. We don't need perfect knights, you know. Oh, somebody gained desire, uh, the aspiring blade master. Very nice. More diplomacy. You get so much diplomacy on these journeys. It's, it's literally crazy. Learning. Uh, so you want this guy? Bring him along. He's not married, so bring him along. <laughs> It's fine. It's all fine. You, you want to marry some guy? He doesn't have a spouse of his own. You're not married yourself. Then let's do it. Nope. Not even checking. I should be checking, but I'm just too busy. Go. Shrines and pilgrims. At a distant city of Roma is a forest of towers and a maze of stone buildings. As we approach the scenery, ships, ruins of monuments, walls, and ancient churches coexist with farms and grazing animals. So we are in Rome. I can find something to bring home with me. Eh, it's a bunch of money. I can try to get the diplomacy. Most likely I get the diplomacy. And if I don't, I get the embassy's perk, which is just good, right? Or I could just move on. I think we're going to see if we get diplomacy or the em or, or the perk. Got the embassy's perk. Nice. What perk is that? Where is that live? Down there. Okay. Embassies is over here in Diplomat. Very good. Commander promoted. All right. So you, you want to... I'm gonna stick this guy in. He's atrocious. Yeah, uh, my army's not a nursery. No, thank you. He'll get himself killed and then you'll blame me for it. I already had enough enemies as it is. I don't need more. A child of my dynasty? Another child born into the Grand Umayyad dynasty? How many of them? There are 611 living members. That's just too many. Okay, we'll just take the fact that it's got that it's heartfelt because it's like 99% chance we recognize that it is anyway. Uh, this is the Duke of Sigismund. He's, why would he be? My ancestor crushed your faith's capital. You know, we, we, we owe Rome. Nature will provide for us. Uh, we can succeed at that. I think we're going to do the nature provides us. It's only a 1% chance to become ill. So <laughs> feels like the best outcome, to be fair. Okay, we gained prestige from completing a building. We didn't build that, though. It was one of the other people did it. White Squall. We need to make makeshift sails. Hopefully somebody finds us. I think we need to make makeshift sail. It makes it 14 days longer unless we get this nearly 70% chance to figure it out. We slowly drift with the wind. Oh, that's fine. Fine. We'll be fine. We, we're not in a rush, you know? We're not in a rush. Command artifact. Decline. Zealotry sea legs. Uh, we're going to pray for his recovery because, again, we are out here trying to become more faithful. You know, we're, we're this, this, it's kind of a show and it's also kind of on purpose at the same time, you know? Come now, I'm sure you two, these people are fighting. I need one way to fight this, I can make them fight. <laughs> I mean, it is, it, it, you know, I, I, none of these make it better, right? Oh, it's a hundred, hundred diplomacy experience and prestige. Fine, we'll peacemaker. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just take your money off. Just take your money since since it's balanced between being generous and, and being bad. a gift artifact. Sure, why not? I don't know why I would want it. The guy hates me. Is it poisoned? I didn't get poisoned, did I? Let's make a bet. Let's make a bet. Yes. Haha, -ha, we did it. That was fun. Okay, okay, we're, we're having a great journey. We're doing good. We visited the capital of the Byzantine Empire, which is for some reason nowhere near Constantinople. It's not the capital, it's one of the capitals. Of course, that's just how it works. Ah, uh, the beating. So, someone has beat my sister. That makes her shy. Or you can run away. I think we're gonna take the shy pause here. Uh, we've become friends with our brother-in-law. Very nice. Now let's come over to the diplomacy here. I mean, this, we're getting Bellum Justum, 50% cost by value cost. Nice. Okay. We got our two new things in here, which to be fair, we could probably just sell. I literally don't know what the other one was. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's keep on the road. Let's keep going. Pilgrimage Zyrat. 
Though the Hajj is mandatory for all Muslims, pilgrimages to other locations are far less common. As these zirat are not required by Islamic doctrine, the Muslims who choose to undertake them can have a wide variety of motivations for doing so. As we travel along the road to Baghdad, I find myself thinking about what made me want to take this journey in particular. I want to see the entirety of Allah's glorious creation. I think that's true. Isaiah burn so hot, I wish to do more. Ooh, we could do that instead. I mean, they're all good. 500 learning experience, though. I think we're going to do the 500 learning experience. Yeah, we got no stress. Why not? These guys are fighting, so we're going to make have them make amends. It's just a very good outcome for a very simple event. I think we're going to take scientific. Maybe we take pedagogy so we can raise our own son. Yeah, I think so. We just traveled through the Abbasid Empire, which is kind of funny. All right, let's try to become a gardener. Is it gardener or is it down to earth? Ah, gardener, very nice. We're getting close to Exalted Among Man. We are really succeeding out here on this journey. We might do a another journey after this. We might do a uh, a hunt because that could help us finish this off. We have another um, perk here. We're gonna go help heart of the family just so we can finish off patriarch family hierarchy. We are getting so much learning and so much. Oh, we're getting everything, really. we are It's a good trip for us. We'll just say that. Head down here and do our pilgrimage. Oh, what is happening here in our home? Oh, we got a new thing here. I don't think it really makes any difference, though. Baghdad of times past. Passing through the greats of Baghdad, it is hard not to reflect on having reached the traditional center of... Arabic speaking and the Islamic world. Making my way through the city, I notice many ruins, old and old monuments. Eventually, I find myself by the cemeteries, among the tombs of caliphs and legal scholars of days long past. My vassal Sultan Marduk of Romania remarks that these are the men who knew a different Baghdad, almost unrecognizable today. Huh. It's worth thinking about how fragile life is. I must know more about the city that once was. We could try to learn more about the city. I'm not going to not waste my time here. I think we're going to do the first one, you know. However, it turns out the Sultan becomes my friend. Nothing wrong with that. He's the master of horse. Good. I got some existential dread, but we did become friends. It's fine. It's fine. You know, it's worth it. We have walked the holy path. We are now a pilgrim and we lose some stress. All right. We've got a level one pilgrimage already. It must be mine. This is a relic. I'm sure you wouldn't want to sell a relic for, well, for a greedy price. 100% chance he reduces it, and we pay five. It must be nine, mine, we could do that. I think better things to spend gold on. Doesn't really look authentic. I mean, I'd rather get the, the, the pilgrimage points. What does Keen Eye give me? I think we're gonna, we're gonna take the pilgrimage points. I think we're gonna take the first one. We're gonna actually take the artifact. If it's junk, we'll just get rid of it, right? Public intoxication, oh man. I spared the rod on the last guy. I, I mean, I, I forgave the last guy. I do need my piety. Nah, man. You can't do it. Not on a pilgrimage, man. Not a pilgrimage. The pilgrim's Guide, we could take one. It's five gold. We could look at it and try to figure it out for ourselves. Or we could just let Allah guide us. I think we'll let Allah guide us. I think that's the mood we're in today. Let the Lord guide us on our journey. You know? So this is... A master? What is he good at? I don't think he's worth making him upset. This is going to be a level 2 pilgrimage because there's really not enough time left to get another level, so that's good. Hey, that's okay. Baghdad, it has been an honor. Yes, it has. A thousand piety. That's what we needed to see. Very nice. To finish our pilgrimage and head home. We're getting close to the, uh, the rest as well. Let's just see. We got... You know, he said this was the hand of Yaya. Right? Don't we literally own the hand of Yaya? <laughs> Say it. We knew it was a fake the whole time, I know. <sighs> Fine, even a fake is worth a little bit of money, right? That wild gazelle hide that guy just gave me. Maybe we get rid of that too. Alright, we're heading home. We got a ton of money saved up. Claim on Bono. I don't want that. <laughs> Danger tempting fruit? Hold on. Okay. Okay. So we can potentially eat the fruit ourselves because we're gluttonous and we're gonna do it. Ah. Harmless plant. We've learned that the plant was harmless. It's fine. We learned a lot. It's good. To, what has happened? What kind of inheritance? What? This is my brother? Oh, it's my half brother. I can't hold all his territory. Look at all this stuff. Oh no. My brother that I barely even know died and now I have all his stuff and I don't want it. Wait, no, he's not dead. I don't understand what happened there. Why did you? Why do I have all your stuff? You want it back, my dude? 
Where were you? Anyway, I, I gotta figure this out. Where were you? So you were... Oh, I gotta figure this out. Okay, so let's just hard pause. There's no future for those who regret the past. Who disregard the past. Uh, they're desperate. I'll, re I'll reimburse them to return the loot. I feel okay about that. I mean, my generous is breaking, is beating my, my sadistic, so I feel good about that. Okay, let's see what we've we've got that we didn't have before, because I, I don't want this stuff, you know. Okay, so this was his, and so was this, right? What else that we didn't have before? I guess this. You can have that emirate. You're gonna take this as well. You can have this and the Sultanate of Aquitaine, because I never really wanted it to begin with. So you can just have all your stuff back, kid. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. You can just have all your stuff back, kid. It's fine. I, I never wanted it to begin with. And, and that's just the truth. Take scientific. Got another learning perk. Anything up here that's important? Oh, we got some vassalizing neighbors here. As long as they're of similar religion, they can join. Let's watch ourselves expand over here. Excellent. Excellent. And excellent. This is weird. How did you get that? All right. Well, I don't know what happened there. I have all of his artifacts now. I don't want any of them. Maybe I'll just give them back to him later. Travel Mare's Milk. Our path takes us to by a sizable camp of Turkic travelers. The man stirs a thick white liquid in a pot. He pours some of it on a small bowl and hands it over to me. Kumis, it's great for the bowels. Drink up, my friend. I mean, okay. We could hire this Turkic warband. I don't know if I want to spend this much money on this guy. Mare's Milk? That's repulsive. Do I want 10 years of the Turkic warband? What does this give me? I mean, that is pretty cool. He would start a scheme to learn his language. He joins my court. I think we're going to do it. I think I think we're going to do it. I think it's it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it, but I think it's a cool idea, so we're going to do it. We're just, we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to do it. We're probably going to succeed it. Yeah. Travel. Study in martial. I wouldn't mind some sparring. This is plus one martial and some prestige. Prestige is what we need the most of. We're going to take this because we're going to succeed at it anyway. Success. Very nice. This is getting real close. Yeah, they're still feuding. Sweet smiles and little eyes. So you are charming. You are diplomacy or intrigue. Well, I think because I am diplomacy, I'm going to train you myself and put you on diplomacy. So let's educate you ourself. Just like that. Good. We do have a court tutor, I assume. Just want to make sure. Yep, and she is good and she's an Umad. So she is everything we would want a court tutor to be. Excellent. He also has a wet nurse, which is also good. Okay, another one of my knights got better. And of course we have shameless people doing shameless things. Another scheme discovered. We visited Petra. We visited the Dome of the Rock. Camel again. So the camel spit on me. It's just a mindless creature. Beast's head will make a fine warning. Yeah, uh, maybe. No, no, I, I'll just call him out. I'll just call him out. You know, you gotta not spit on me, okay? I am such an important person. Who is this? My cousin? Should I do this? Should I do this? Should I let him out of prison? It's 50 freaking gold. Is he, he's probably not worth 50 gold. He's just some cousin. No, he, no, you do, no, not at all. Other people's pastors? I don't, I'm not, I don't need to help you. Maybe I should think about it. Oh, I could apply this back home. That's not helping other people. That's helping myself. Yeah, we're doing that. Heading through Egypt. Snap twig. There's a chill in the air and my breath mists into small puffs as I travel. The orchids of Cairo. Oh, this is the girl who breaks her. The, the poor, poor, poor girl. I will soothe the child. I will soothe the child. I know it doesn't seem like me, but it was a literal child. And I just had a child of my own. I'm feeling good about children right now. So, so that that's where we are right now. Okay. You may you grow strong and wise. Another child of my dynasty. We probably should take tax man. We're not actually collecting taxes. Golden obligation is always good. But I think we're going to go with cutting cornerstones because it's just just a straight saving when we get back to the stage where we're building again. Lighthouse of Alexandria. Let's again, man, you got to stop, man. I don't want to beat you to death, man. You got to stop. Was it the same guy? I might have been the same guy. He will join. Let's see what we got going on here. This is all fine. We should repair this because it's important to us. We literally carry it with us every day. You're heading home at long last. We have pushed our empire deep in this direction. If we just look at this, more and more of Persia is under our control. Uh, I'm not going to steal it. Just a maritime trading handbook, right? Yeah, we got one. Yeah, I'm sorry, but we've got one already. I probably would have considered it if we didn't already have one. Bound by blood. You'll be able to use the rescue house members, Kasebali. Very nice. 
So we have gained so much territory just by existing in this particular episode. We j just just by being here, just by just by existing. We're getting pretty close to this. Oh, danger. White's Wall. Just over a thousand more. We could try to raise makeshift sails. Fear not, we have more sails. That's just straight good. Somebody will find us. I think we're just going to use the sails they brought with us. I mean, we are working our way to here, right? In eight months, we'll be able to get a new um, tradition. But he formed a hybrid culture. Continue the vassalization frenzy. Uh, my army is not a nursery. I'm sorry, but no. Sorry, but no. Oh, learn language success. I feel accomplished. Great. Now we are going to befriend the spy master. It's not perfect chance, but it's still pretty good. We could do shared information or we could just finish this and get octogenarians. I think we're going to get octogenarians. Then once we finished blood, now that we finished blood, I think we're going to go up here and finish coterie. We'll get our shared information and then we'll get our pragmatic roots. I don't know if I actually care about that. It's the thing. I may do a different one. I haven't really decided. More vassals. We've returned from our pilgrimage. Nice. New vassals. This is all good. Just this. We can hold court, which we will. Say to my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne, while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. Gesture for the first in line to approach. An ancient figure approaches my throne with a click and tap of his cane accompanying each step. My lord, I am a genealogist, and you are aware I know I am. Abid al Rahman, nothing compared to me. <laughs> uh, you know. You know, I think I do think he's nothing compared to me. I do think I am the greatest thing to ever happen to us. I'm about to retake the, the empire, okay? It's it's going to be a glorious, glorious day. The whole throne room fill, falls silent as my vassal, Sultan Mada, enters triumphantly, followed by two struggling servants who are carrying a chained hyena. <sighs> pet monster. Indeed, a mighty beast for a mighty ruler. Pet monster, court grandeur. Just pet monster. We try for the... The artifact. No, I think we're gonna just take the pet monster. Yeah, let's take the pet monster. That helps to make up for the fact that we were nice to that kid. My vassal, Amir Nuri, brushes off his shirt before stepping forward to voice his petition. My liege, I seek your aid in combating the issue of tax collection in not working in Baalbek. Okay, Baalbek. He pauses to sigh. I can't fix the problem with the resources I have. Okay. <sighs> it's not really my problem, though. I mean, my steward could offer you help. It does make my steward somewhat stressed and possible to die of sickness. My kisbin, Abdul Aziz, would make for a better steward. That's interesting. Thing is, he's married to my wet nurse, and I need my wet nurse. She's my wet nurse. I'm sorry, but that's my wet nurse. So I guess... I guess we'll just pay him some money. It's fine. Okay. Okay. We never click. We didn't click it off. That's fine. Okay. Now we want some prestige and the easiest way to get prestige is to do a hunt. So let's do a hunt. I mean, we could go to a grand tournament. What kind of grand tournament is this? Not arrive in time. Don't matter because we won't arrive at either one in time. Fine. Hunt. So we gain prestige. Let's plan a hunt. Let's do falconry because that's what we do. I don't know if I should go super far away. It would be crazy to go all the way back out here just to go for a hunt, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. We could go up to France, though. That's pretty cool. Let's go and do falconry in France. That actually seems like a spectacular idea. And then we don't probably need these. We got some hill problems here, some forest problems. So we can do this a lot cheaper. We can like a forest guy and a hill guy. Sounds great. And then just on the way home, let's just go through here. And then we'll go through here. And we'll go through here. And I don't really want to go the, that way, so we'll we'll go there. Whoops. We'll go making it a landward journey. Very nice. Let's do a let's, let's make a big thing of it. Too much. I think we'll do this. We'll do we'll make it a big party. And we are going to attempt to Oh, there is no Slay the Beast in this, right? Yeah, that's right. So we're gonna attempt to befriend someone who would be a good friend target. Oh, the, the guy from Venice is really turned around. Are you anyone important? We're working our spy master already. Just looking to see oh, our steward. Let's do our steward. Let's try to befriend the steward. Shall start our hunt. Nice. So this has been an adventure episode. A hunt all in preparation for a grand war in the south. Very good. Let's go. I can't wait.
More vassalizations. More vassalizations. This guy is bitching. Who the hell is he? He's just some courtier. Get out of my sight now. I'm not going to ignore somebody as unimportant as a courtier. More vassalizations. How far are we going into there now? Oh, look how deep we've pushed in. We're actually bordering with like India now. And then all the way up this way. We're bordering Go Georgia. Oh, it's so big. No, uh, I don't think we're going to go after Xenophilic. Although Xenophilic would actually make sense for us. We have tons of cultures, right? That could actually be good. I think we're going to do that because I think we are going to take Xenophilic to arms and manage. Yeah, that war lasted for like a half a second. And I have weirdly accidentally changed how things are. Okay, good. We're back. We're back. Oh, what? The Sultan of Egypt is dead. I'm going to put... I'm going to put my Master of Horse in charge. And then I'm going to go to the new kid here. And we'll we'll deal with him next. That's fine. After this befriend is completed, let's just toss this away. We want to refill those two positions we just lost. We don't want to go without them. So we're literally in the middle of a hunt. So we need a Master of the Hunt. I love an excellent Umayyad. Yeah, perfect. My new Chancellor. Okay, and we also want a Chief Kadi if there's a good Umayyad. Of course, this is probably an average you might add. This is my brother-in-law. Point him. Good enough. Back to the hunt. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh, get him some shoes. Who's, who, who raids? Who raids? All right. So my sister, she's an okay administrator. I did okay. We'll become a town dweller. Like that's the minimum, but that's fine. Who freaking raids? The healing water. Now you shall make a fine distraction. Yeah, I'm not interested in helping this guy out, you know, at all. Soon! Like, nine months is not soon, okay? Nine months is not soon. I, I have an idea of what the word soon means, and it's not nine months. Why is this so bad? What is happening? My court amenities just went up again. I legitimately do not understand why this went up again. It's like getting so expensive. Okay, let's just pardon him. Let's vassalize our neighbors. We probably want to try to... We don't have the money, though, right now, is the thing. We're not going to even be able to, like... We're going to have a hard time going to war because we're not going to be able to hold our... Uh, like, most of the stuff is already kingdoms, right? Like, this is a mess. That's true. That's always going to be a mess, though. Unless they can sort it out on their own. Is there, like, something here we can do? I mean, I literally have four excellent tax pit. Like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe we try to befriend him and see if that helps. I don't know why we have no money is the thing. Like, I don't, I don't get this. This is, I have a mercenary contract. Everybody gets flogged when they drink in public. All right. So we are now friends with you. So I am going to befriend my vizier. Retain Burgundy. Egypt holds land in here for some reason. And down here because Egypt is Egypt, I guess. Burgundy or Burgundy. Egypt. Arabia, Abbasid Empire still exists, Safrid, Mesopotamia. This guy, he needs a king title. You need a king title, bud. Are there any, like, king titles over here that you could get? Nah, man. You're not doing... You're not doing well. You got one son. You got one zeroth level age son. That's, uh... That's not so good, man. That's not so good. Let's continue. Okay. Okay, so... I don't know what happened to the last guy, but I guess you're the guy now. My wife gives me nine. I'll stick with my wife. And here we go. Let's get out there. It's all prestige mediocre. Yeah, let's do the hair. I think we can do this. We must stop the villain behind this. I think we can do this. Let's find the beast. 53% chance. I must have it. I don't want to pay for it. I don't need luck. Fly true, little one. I don't have that money. I'm gonna need to go through here and just like this by name. I don't need two of these. We have two healing waters, but they can't be gotten rid of. I need to keep two Bejeweled Quran. Is this set of armor better than mine? Ten, one Glory Hound Vassal. They're basically the same. I'll sell this. Don't need that. Okay, maybe we have some more we can sell in the court to keep our finances going because things are not great right now. Let's put these by name. Not equipped. We'll just get rid of it. I don't think we need it for anything. Okay... Mysterious lamp is already being displayed. This feral, we wanted to keep that. We kept that on purpose last time. We'll get rid of this. I don't really think I need this. Keep the excellent book about books. We'll get rid of this tapestry. 
That should help us for a bit, at least. And now we should be able to keep them away in order to get the benefit. The success chance, we're now above 60%. Nice. Yes! We did it! So we shall return invigorated. Every participant gains 187. I gained 375. Nice! Okay. Vassalize this guy. This is all fine. Uh, my uncle-in-law. Okay. That's a disfigured dwarf right there. Oh, she never married anyone because it never came, it never went through. Well, that's fine. We're not gonna worry about that right now. Never even realized this whole time that that's been not, not right. We could do, oh no, we don't have a concentric castle. So we already have the two here. I'm gonna build these crop fields up to try to find something else we can build that's worth money. Literally nearly anything will do. Not my territory. Nothing. Nothing we can build up right now. That's fine. That's fine. We are so close. Sure, we can be friends. Visited another capital of the Umayyad Empire because there's like 50 million of them. Let's get these all done. No, I have not been checking these to make sure that they're all Muslim. Hiya! 5% chance we become... We don't need this dressed out. Yeah, we don't need this dressed out. We're fine, guys. We're fine. It's okay. Accept your gracious offer of vassalization. Go in behind this. Oh, geez. We have too many vassals again. Friendly council. Grant him vassal. Do it. Okay, so you guys down here, you're supposed to be part of Gur. You are supposed to be part of Susan. Probably not the best idea, but I'm just going to grant both of these to this guy. Just increasing his power. Hopefully he's smart enough to eventually get himself a frickin' king title. Hopefully that gets him closer. Let's fix things a bit. Let's look at the titles up around here. That's all together. Look over here. We've got a, all of this. Anybody here have the silver crown? Nobody. Let's think about that later, but for now, this is fine. More vassals. I probably need to stop doing this. Okay, so going over here, you want to look at the new territory. So we are looking for the small guys. There were some small guys in that group there. Okay. I grant you this gigantic guy because I need him to not exist. Yes, yes. Who else do I need to not exist? You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I don't think you're in. Is there like more people over here now? Yeah, there is. Let's see if there's anything we can do down here that might fix things. So let's look at what we've got going on down here. We got this guy. This is a... No, that's not us. That's the King of Gur. That's a king. Not ours. Okay, what are you supposed to be part of? Okay... What are you supposed to be part of that? Got this king here, right? I'm gonna... Well, she's a, a queen, right? I'm gonna grant her this... Can I not? Why can't I? Oh, no, not grant. Uh, grant vassal. This. Yes. This. Yes. This. Yes. Who are you supposed to be part of? I think it's over. This is a king, right? Not vassal. Vassal. We want to grant you vassal. Yes. Good enough. Who else is there? The people on this side of the river. So we will grant you this. And we will grant you this. And I made a whole mess out of Africa, South Africa, but that's fine. We're just we're just trying to, to make it work, right? That's it. We're just we're trying to be okay. Uh we're just trying to be okay, okay? Okay. So we are so close now. It's absurd. Let's just get ourselves home. How old are we? We are now 35 years old. Nice. We visited Brigantium. The honor is all yours. Ha ha ha. I don't want to do that. <laughs> the honor is all yours. Uh, very nice. Roman walls of Lugo. Oh, cool. So I have married the girl I promised to marry finally, and then we are heading home. Very good. And with that, I think we're going to bring this episode to an end. And next time, we should get the tiny bit of prestige we still need in order to finally do our war. We do not have the money for it, but that's okay. Our money is going up, which is good. I can go back inside again. Hopefully, we can figure out our problem here. And once that's figured out, that should give us some more money. Like, a, not a lot, but, but, but some. All right. Oh, there is a hunt. And I will go next time. I don't think I need either of these, do I? No. Goodbye for now.